What's going on everybody? Albert here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install Dash Wallet from the core team on your iOS device. I'm demonstrating this on my iPhone actually. So all you need to do is click on the App Store. At the top you're going to search for the Dash Foundation. It's just pretty much easier to find it that way. Uh, you'll get some other app the Dash News, and then the Dash Wallet. As you can see, I already downloaded it before, so I'm just going to download it from the cloud this time. Once that's downloaded, click Open, or you could click Open, or go to where the app installed. So you can either recover a wallet or create a new wallet. Um, if you click Recover Wallet, all you have to do is enter your 12 character pass not 12 character 12 word passphrase and click done at the bottom and you recovered your old wallet but today let's create that new one so as you can see to start a new wallet you'll need to generate a wallet recovery passphrase uh, this video is just for demonstration I am not going to be using this recovery passphrase so if you want to try and recover it, go for it, but you won't see any dash in the wallet. So generate passphrase. Don't let anyone see this. Again, this is just dem for demonstration. Click show. There is my recovery passphrase. It says please write it down and please do write it down. Don't just click remind me later and file it away, do whatever you need to do to keep your wallet secure. Click. Once you have it written down, click Remind Me Later. Create a simple four pin passphrase. Oh, 0827 was mine. Click Dash at the top, it tells you the balance of Dash and how much Dash equals, or how much one Dash is to Bitcoin. So once you open the app, you'll start on the Receive Dash page. Here you'll see the QR code and then you'll see the Dash receiving address. So with the QR code, anyone with a Dash wallet can scan it, send you some Dash, plain and simple. Uh, the Dash address that you see at the bottom will actually change every time you receive money, or not money, well, I guess it is money, but every time you receive Dash, it will change. However, you can use that same receiving address multiple times, and your Dash will still show up in your Dash wallet. All right, if you swipe to the left, you'll see the Send Dash page. Here you can actually click scan QR and I actually have a Dash paper wallet that I got from the Dash uh, conference I would say in Arizona in March actually so let's take a look at that. You Okay to use camera, boom. There's the Dash paper wallet. Click X to cancel, enter my passphrase. Now I'm back in the wallet. If you click pay address from clipboard, you get a message saying clipboard does not contain a valid dash address or bitcoin address. Click OK. This is when you received uh, someone else's dash address from a text message or from on, over Facebook or anything like that. Uh, it'll paste it and then you can send any dollar amount worth of Dash to that wallet. At the very bottom you see Instant Send is enabled. This is fantastic actually. Uh, when using Instant Send, uh, if you're new to Dash, you pay a little bit higher fee, but when you send the dash, it is automatically conf gets five confirmations 
from the Masternode second tier network. And then you just have to wait for a regular transaction or confirmation. So lastly, let's pop over to the hamburger. The hamburger is in the top left hand corner. As you can see, since we just created this wallet, we have no transactions. We can import a private key. However, I do not want to do that at this time. And then we have settings. And let's just go through this real quick. Uh, there's about at the top. Uh, this is the Dash wallet, and it is based on the open source wallet made by Bread Wallet. Let's go back. So, recovery passphrase, if you click on that, it says, warning, do not show anyone. I'm going to show you guys, because you already saw it there. And so you can go back in and rewrite it down, but it's better to rewrite it first, just in case you don't remember your PIN. So your local currency, uh, I'm in the United States, so I have US dollar, and the wallet supports all of these fiat currencies. If you don't know what fiat is, it is just your country's main dollar. And then you have touch ID limit. Default is one dash. And this is, it will always require your pin. If you have one, if you send over one dash, but you can set it to, if you want to send as little as 0.01 dash or 0.1 dash. And then lastly, dash 10. If you want to send 10 dash, which is $1,500 is required to use your PIN. So with that being said, I'm just going to leave it as default, and I'll probably leave it on default on my real wallet. And then enable notifications. So this is on by default. If you want to receive notifications if someone sends you Dash, by all means, leave it on. If you want it to be more anonymous and you don't want people walking by and seeing your uh, iPhone light up and see you have a Dash Wallet notification, uh, turn it off. Uh, change password, this is just your PIN. And then start over with a new wallet. With this, you'll have to write or type in all the words, all 12 words from your recovery passphrase, and then you'll have the option to start a new wallet. It'll just bring you back to that main screen of new wallet or recover a wallet. But even if you're resetting this wallet, you're able to recover the old passphrase as long as you wrote it down. Lastly, rescan blockchain. Um, if your funds in the Dash wallet aren't seeming like they should be, uh, click rescan blockchain and you'll see the bar at the very top it's rescanning the blockchain so say right now I have zero dash but let's say I had one dash on this wallet and it's not showing up then you would rescan the blockchain as long as you know that you confirm your confirmation has over six con confirmations Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful. And please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more Dash-related videos. Thank you, and take care.